could you handle a situation where a thread calls the notify or notify all but there are no waiting thread why would you want to wake up all of the threads if only one is going to execute at all hi everyone welcome to my channel code with ease by varsha today we will talk about nine interview questions that you may be asked regarding wait notify and notify all some of the trick questions that you may be asked if you want to understand more about wait notify from scratch if you are if you want to refresh on the concept so this is the playlist which we have started which is called the threads coding questions i would recommend you to first watch the first video the print alternate and number sequence uh, in which i have not only done the code i have also explained in depth about wait and notify and uh, how it works so i would recommend you to first watch that video and then jump on to this particular video which we are doing today to cover the interview questions so let's begin So just to give a brief context about wait notify and notify all methods, we use that for inter-thread communication. And we know that firstly, we have the wait method. So when we talk about the wait method, so when we talk about the wait method, what happens is you call the thread goes into a waiting state, but the lock is released, right? So you wait on certain condition until that condition is satisfied, you will wait. The thread will be on a waiting state. The next point comes about notify. So in this, what we do, so in notify, we will notify a single thread. So whoever is waiting, the thread is waiting. So when we call the notify, the single thread will be awakened. So it will be coming back to a state where it is able to run. The next is notify all, where all the threads which are in waiting state will be notified. So, so we can understand that there is one thread or maybe a bunch of different threads which is waiting for some condition and then another thread has updated, has already done the work. So they want to notify the first thread that their work is done. So this is what is the gist of wait and notify method that why we want to use for inter-thread communication that hey I am done please continue ahead. So then the notifier so when, when one thread is done they will say hey I am done please continue further. So I've explained all of this with an example in that particular video which I mentioned. So now in this video we'll talk specifically about the questions that you may be asked. Okay so the first thing is how can you explain notify and notify all using the use cases so this diagrammatic approach is there. Thread dot notify the biggest difference is it only notifies one thread. We don't know which thread. Thread dot notify all will notify all the threads. All the threads means all the waiting threads. So notify is used when we know that only one thread needs to be unblocked. When we know that only one thread needs to be unblocked, not all the threads. Notify all is used when you want when you know that multiple threads are waiting and you want to give all the waiting threads a chance to proceed when the condition changes. Give all the waiting threads a chance to proceed when the condition changes is an important thing because I'll come to this in a bit. So the biggest difference between notify and notify all is notify all gives a notification, sends out a notification to all the threads which are waiting. But notify should be used when you know there is only one thread. So why should you use notify all, right? Incorrectly using notify. So this is important. Now, if you incorrectly use notify in situations where you know that multiple threads might be waiting, this could lead to a situation like starvation where you know threads are computing for resources but none of them are actually getting a chance to execute. So uh, certain threads will never get a chance to execute. So this is the code example of the notify and notify all. So you have a synchronized block. This is the basic construct of you have a synchronized block and then you just print out. So you basically try to notify and then you again do some logs and in case of notify all it is just notify all so anyway you if you watch the first video you will get to see a running code example of wait notify notify all also now moving on how would you handle a situation where a thread calls the notify or notify all but there are no waiting threads so what are the implications in that case so the answer to this would be if notify or notify all is used when no threads are waiting it has no impact if none of them are waiting and you're still giving an out a notification that hey I'm done, there's no impact as such. It's just that the notification will be ineffective. So just as a best practice, it is mentioned that waiting threads must use the wait method to pause until notified. So if you are trying to you know uh, wait for a certain condition, it's a good practice to use the wait method. And only when you're notified, you should resume your work. Similarly, for uh, uh, producer threads, like it is mentioned, notify or notify all should be called after updating the shared data to awaken the waiting threads. This is just like a best practice that firstly, the thread should wait if it is waiting for a certain condition called the wait method. Similarly, the other thread which is actually calling the notify or the notify all method should call only when they have updated the shared data on which the thread which is waiting might be waiting on, right? 
so this is the best practice which you have to understand so next question is does notify all method really wake up all the threads so i have called notify all there are 10 threads waiting so will it wake up all the threads so the answer for this is yes technically yes it will wake up all the threads but it doesn't guarantee that all the threads get to run why because when they wake up the threads will still have to reacquire the object log so this is the key this is the catch over here Ideally, when um, threads are waiting, they usually wait for certain condition. Like, for example, a thread is saying, I am waiting for ABCD. I have not got ABCD. Let me wait. Once I have got ABCD, I mean, uh, once ABCD is available, I will be notified. Then I will get acquire the lock on ABCD and I will continue to do my work. So, this is the usual construct of how it should be. So, when they are woken up, it may be possible that some thread was waiting on ABCD. Some thread was waiting on PQRS. Now, the one which was waiting on ABCD, is also woken up the one which is waiting on pqrs is also woken up so if abcd is available that particular thread will get to run the other thread which is waiting for pqrs and pqrs is not available it was still notified that will still go into again go back to the waiting state so this is the point which we were trying to make that it will wake up all the threads but whoever was waiting for what condition whatever condition if that condition is set to true then the waiting state will stop they will come back they'll resume the work other threads whoever was waiting even though they have woken up they will again go back to the waiting state Okay, so this is the answer for this question. Next question, what happens when more than one thread is waiting for the notification? Which threads actually get the notification when the notify method is called? So, we have to tell which thread will get the notification when the notify method is called and what happens when more than one thread is waiting for the notification. Okay, so if I call the notify method, there is no way for me to know which thread will get the notification. So, the notify method will have no way, I mean Java doesn't have a way to specify. Which thread will get the notification when I call the notify method? Even if it is a single processor, there is no way to run. I mean, to determine which thread will be notified first. So, the point which we were trying to make in this question is firstly, it is not possible to determine which thread will get to uh, be, I mean, which thread will be notified when the notify method is called. And see, when more than one thread is waiting for the notification, if you call notify, we said in the beginning also, if you incorrectly call notify and you know that there are more threads which are waiting for the notification, like I said, the ABCD example, there are three threads which is wanting the ABCD to be available to continue their work. Now, I call notify. Now, among three threads, if I call the threads as XYZ, I don't know whether X got notified or Y got notified. Now, unnecessarily, let's say X got notified and Y and Z are still not notified, right? If you use notify instead of notify all. So, unnecessarily Y and Z are kept to waiting. They'll assume that uh, they, they are not notified yet. So, maybe ABCD is not available. Isn't it? So, that is what the thing is. So, that is the reason why notify all should be called. Instead of notify when you know there are more threads who is waiting for the notification. Why would you want to wake up all of the threads if only one is going to execute at all? Okay, this is a very trick question that why are you using notify all and you're trying to wake up all the threads when you know that only one is going to be executed? It's a trick question. So when notify is called, of course, we cannot control which thread gets the notification that uh, it is also possible to wake up a thread who is waiting for a different condition itself and that condition is not yet um, set to true. Like I said, a thread must, like um, in case of a producer consumer also, the consumer has to notify the producer only if it has finished consuming it, consuming what it had to consume. Similarly, any thread which is trying to notify has only to update of the shared data to the thread who is waiting only once they have updated the shared data on which the thread was waiting. Okay. So if you call notify, it is possible that you have woken up a thread which was not even waiting for the condition which you have just set to true. Next, if you call notify all and you are waking up all the threads, why are we doing so? We are doing so because firstly, if you call notify or if you call notify all, you have no way to know which thread is getting the call. Right. Now, when you call notify all, it is a more fair way of uh, uh, giving the control back. So now which thread gets to execute depends on the resource, the condition and all of that. So that is the best practice. Like I said, if you don't use notify, we don't have an option. If you use notify, it will be incorrect if multiple threads are waiting. So that is why as a best practice, it's always good to call the notify also that whoever is the eligible thread will get the chance to execute. And this allows them to contend for the resource fairly. So it's like resource, uh, fair use of resources and all of that. So that is the point which we are trying to make. So the next is, what is the difference between wait and sleep? It is not a trick question, but it is just a way to help uh, the interviewer understand if you know the difference actually between wait and sleep. There are two key points which you have to understand about wait and sleep. So firstly, what is the purpose of wait? Like I said, wait is usually used to 
make the thread pause even sleep is used to make the thread pause but the purpose the intent is different in case of wait the thread pauses for certain condition like it's like i said it's waiting for some resource the abcd to be available sleep is more like an intentional pause where you want the thread to say that hey stop for 2 minutes stop for 3 minutes just don't do any work for this much amount of time right so this is where the work of sleep is coming in the important difference between wait and sleep so to say is on the lock what happens is the wait method i mean whenever the thread invokes the wait it will release the lock on whichever lock it was holding and this is what we see in the producer consumer problem so the producer is waiting because the queue is full it cannot produce more items so it releases the lock the consumer thread acquires the lock and consumes the items but in case of sleep what happens is the lock is not released whenever you call sleep on something the lock is not released so as a result what happens is all the threads who were waiting for the lock are kept waiting until the sleep is over the wake up condition the next point is the thread will wake up whenever the notify or notify all is being called sleep in case of sleep the thread will wake up whenever the specified time has elapsed there is no way of notification uh, to the thread which is sleeping that i have notified there is no way of doing that so the next question is what is a spurious wake up and how can you prevent it with wait notify so this is a very good question uh, often comes also what is a spurious wake up first of all so if a thread wakes up without any explicit notify all or notify call or even without any thread interruption or even without any uh, time elapse even even you know the wait method has a parameter where it can take a time in milliseconds also that how much time to wait so without any of that the thread has woken up and started doing its work although it is supposed to wait but it has woken up so if that kind of a scenario happens it is called a spurious wake up <laughs> wake ups occurring without any reason now how does it happen why does it occur there are many different explanations some people say that it is due to the modern operating system where due to thread scheduling algorithms also sometimes the thread might be preempted and then the thread is woken up from the state it was waiting and starts to execute assuming the condition on which it was waiting is fulfilled so as i said there should be a while loop where you are saying that while the condition is not met abcd is not got you wait now if a spurious wake up happens from the os side operating system side so the thread will wake up assuming that the condition is true it doesn't even check if the condition is true or not so that is the reason why it is suggested that a while loop is used so that when you enclose it within a while loop how it behaves it's a loop right so every time it will go ahead even if it has woken up it will go ahead and check if the condition is true or not true if the condition is not true it will again go to a wait state if there was no while loop around it and it was just thread dot wait i mean object dot wait but ever would assume that the condition is true it would go ahead and do the work and it will result in a deadlock in a race condition or data corruption anything can happen so it is a incorrect way of getting the thread to a wake up state so that is why using a while loop is the most suggested approach for preventing a spurious wake up and this is a code snippet also where we have that see we have a synchronized lock thread a is waiting then it will call the wait method now while it is waiting suddenly some interruption happen and now the thread a is awake but in case of uh, the prevention mechanism we are using a while loop over here we are using a while loop over here it is waiting so if we are using the while loop if the condition is not wait it will keep on waiting once the condition is true only then it will come out of this while loop so that is like a prevention that we are doing for the spurious wake up to not happen moving to the next question what is the difference between the wait which has taking a, a parameter of long time out and simple wait like i said the wait can also take the parameter of time out just as sleep takes the parameter so this is the difference between both of them firstly we use this one if you allow the thread to wait for a certain maximum duration and we use simple wait as we know if there is any condition and then it will get notified why do we want to use this one this is important this is useful when the time out mechanism is required where you cannot wait indefinitely of course nobody waits indefinitely you will obviously get a notification in the ideal scenario but still if i want to or uh, hard code the value where i just want to let's say wait for 5 seconds only and if by then the condition is not true true whatever i will exit so in that case this is important and then we know that wait is used when you specifically have to check for that particular condition here is an example also which is given that a thread waits for a restocked item for a specific time limit in the shopping cart and um, proceeding if the item becomes available otherwise it will handle the situation so it will just wait for that much time limit if it is available it's available in the cart if it is not available then it cannot just wait um and here in the second case we have a printing system where it will wait for the printer to become available until you get the signal that the printer is available ideally you should not be going up, going ahead 
so this is the example of the simple weight without the parameter so mainly these are the broadly the differences between weight with timeout and weight without timeout so these are the questions that i had for today wrapping up all the nine interview questions on weight notify again as i said uh, please continue following the multi threading playlist on uh, the videos that i have already put up and continue following those on my channel subscribe to my channel if you have not done that already and to support us please continue to like our content share our content as much as possible thank you so much